we are recording all the names and this will be for the submission to the master site file and what we're doing is putting down all the inscriptions on the on the headstones what it actually says and this will be recorded in Tallahassee at the uh, Historic Resource Center. The back side is number 1444. That'll fix the north arrow. It's what uh, the archaeologists do on cemeteries. So the stones get lost. We have to have a map and we have a name that goes with it and it'll never be lost again. So if the family ever decides to come back and recover their ancestors, they, we, we know where they are. It's all in rec, public records now. So I think it's a, a good thing that, they're, that this is going on here now. Um, this, this Pioneer Cemetery goes back pre-1900, we, we believe. Um, so far, the only records we have at the moment is 1901. But we think it was before that. And possibly the cemetery was here before it was ever an actual uh, owned parcel by the church. That came later, 1901. And I think they were here before the railroad even. So this is, this is a, a valuable, valuable resource, historic resource that needs saving here. That's what F. Pound's doing, and we also have the Fort Historic Society here today, and a lot of volunteers and a lot of folks that are with Cephas as well.